Are you wondering what the best dog food to feed your golden doodle is? I am here to help. By the way, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I dog sit and train hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing all of my advice with all of y'all. By the way, I also have two mini golden doodle dogs. I'm a big fan of the breed. I think they're great dogs, and I love that the poodle part of them helps them shed a little bit less. So in this video, I am going to share with you the best dog dog food to feed your golden doodle. I'll provide you with a few options depending on your budget. And just a little hint, most dog food is pretty crappy, so you'll want to watch on. For the best dog training and dog product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified when I put out a new video every Wednesday. All right, so you're either planning on adopting a golden doodle, maybe you already have a golden doodle, but either way, you're trying to find the best dog food to feed your dog or puppy. While well, you should always consult your vet to double check the best diet for your dog or puppy, I'm going to provide you with what I know based on my experience as a dog sitter and dog trainer. So keep watching. I'm going to share with you those best dog foods to feed your golden doodle. At the end, as a bonus, I'll also share with you my favorite supplements that I give to my golden doodles. Now, these supplements, in my opinion, are really, really important, especially for for golden doodles. Golden doodles, because of their mix with golden retrievers, are known for developing hip dysplasia, and there are supplements that you can give them now to help delay the process or prevent it. I like to say you either pay for it now or pay for it later. All right, so let's get right into it. I like to think of food in two different categories. There's premium dog food and super premium dog food. Just as a disclaimer, I don't recommend cheap dog food because that would be like me recommending McDonald's McDonald's or Burger King to give your child. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first type of food that I recommend, which is the most budget friendly, is premium kibble. The lowest price point that I recommend is Taste of the Wild. I love Taste of the Wild because they have food specific to life stages like puppy, adult, senior, pregnant, or nursing dogs. They also have dry and canned food. They provide a pretty high quality dog food for a low price point. That being said, they still use ingredients like fish meal, which can be considered questionable. However, for the price point, it really is the best quality that you can find, and not all of us can afford the highest quality, which is super premium raw food. The second kibble that I love, which I currently use, is called Pet Wants. Now you can't buy pet wants on Amazon, but it's small batch dog food. So they create the dog kibble in small batches and they deliver it straight to your home. Now both Taste of the Wild and Pet Wants are really, really high quality kibbles. However, at the end of the day, kibble has to be cooked at a high temperature, meaning a lot of the nutrients are lost in the, in the process of making kibble. So one of the benefits of raw food is that you're keeping a lot of the nutrients because it isn't cooked at high temperatures which I'll get more into later, the different types of raw food. But one way you can supplement with kibble is to top the kibble with some raw food and sprinkle it on top or maybe even mix half raw, half kibble. Like I said, raw food is not cheap at all. It's actually very, very expensive. If I were to feed both of my dogs raw food, I'd be spending more on them than I spend myself on groceries at Whole Foods. So that's why I like to include a few different options because it's not viable to feed 100% raw for every family. Family. So the second dog food I recommend is freeze dried raw, which is the cheapest you can buy in the raw category. Two of my favorite brands are Primal and Stella and Chewy's. That being said, there are many other brands out there, so you can always go to your local natural pet store and kind of talk to them and figure out what's best for your dog. The reason why so many people are getting their dogs and puppies on raw food is research shows it improves appetite, digestion, relief from allergies improve skin and coat, healthy teeth and gums, greater stamina, and healthier immune systems. Golden doodles, like I said, are prone to hip dysplasia. So the better their entire body runs, the more we can prevent or at least delay hip dysplasia from happening in the future. Last but not least, the highest quality food you can buy, in my opinion, and the opinion of many other professionals, is frozen raw and air dried raw. So first there's frozen raw, which you can buy at the pet store. You have to buy it at the pet store because 
you purchase it from the freezer section. You can't get it delivered on Amazon. So that's the only dog food that I can't link to below. But for me personally, I love going to Kaiser's pet store, but there are many other great pet stores out there as long as you're going to a natural pet store. The second option is Zeewee Peak, which is air dried raw food. Both of these options keep the most amount of nutrients in the food as the previous option, which is freeze dried dog food, does still take some of the nutrients out. So Zeewee Peak uses air drying, a natural way of preserving meat, which eliminates the need for artificial flavors, sugars, and glycerin. While these are both amazing dog foods, the con to these is they are definitely not budget friendly at all. They're very, very expensive. These dog foods really can break the bank, especially if you have two dogs, multiple dogs, or even just a large dog. All right, so just to quickly recap, these are your different options. So first is premium kibble like taste of the wild or pet walk second is super premium raw food but the cheaper option which is freeze-dried raw food like primal and sell and chewies and your last option is the most expensive super premium food which is air dried raw or frozen raw food and just so you know for me I currently feed my dogs a mix of kibble and raw one day I'm hoping that the 100% raw will fit in my budget but for right now I am doing kibble and raw half and half. So we talked about the food, let's talk about supplements now, which I think are also very, very important. The first supplement I recommend is joint rescue. Like I said, because of the hip dysplasia that golden doodles are prone to, joint rescue is a great way to either prevent or at least delay hip dysplasia from happening. Number two is a prebiotic. I absolutely love GI Balance by Super Snap. It has a prebiotic and also has pumpkin to give them a little bit of fiber and firm up their stool. Last but not least, I recommend a probiotic to give your dog. Just a little side note, it's great for humans too, so if you as a human don't take a probiotic, you definitely should be. So yes, I just wanted to keep this video super short, but if you wanna learn more, I definitely recommend checking out Dogs Naturally blog. I have no affiliation with them, by the way. I just really like their, their work, and you can learn pretty much anything you want to know about just natural ways to help your dog thrive. So if you like this video, be sure to let me know by hitting the like button, hitting subscribe, and and sharing with all of your dog lover and golden doodle lover friends. Thanks everyone and I will see you next Wednesday.